Chapter 11, Mishnah 1. The Mishnah discusses a house whose roof is split across its entire width, such that the roof is divided into two sections, one that covers the front of the house and one that covers the back of the house. There is a doorway in the front of the house, but not in the back. The Mishnah refers to the front of the house, which includes the doorway, as the outer part, and the back of the house as the inner part. Now turn to the words of the Mishnah. If the roof of a house is split across its width from one side to the other, the following laws apply. If Tuma, a whole corpse, or part of one, is in the outer part of the house, which includes the doorway, only utensils in the outer part become Tame, whereas utensils in the inner part remain Tahor. The gap in the roof divides the house into separate Ohalim. Therefore, Tuma does not spread from the outer part of the house to the inner one. However, if Tuma is in the inner part, utensils in the inner part certainly become Tame. But the law of utensils in the outer part is subject to dispute. They shall I say that utensils in the outer part also become Tame unless the split in the roof is at least four tefachim wide. Since the corpse will eventually be removed from the house through the doorway, which is in the outer part, the rule of the Tuma will eventually exit tells us that the outer part is Tame even now although the two parts are separate ohali. However, this is only if the gap is narrower than four tefachim. If it is four tefachim wide or more, the rule of the tuma will eventually exit does not apply, and the outer part of the house remains tahor. However, Basil will say that even if the gap has the slightest width, i.e., it is as narrow as a plumb line, the rule of the tuma will eventually exit is not applied, and so the gap prevents Tuma from spreading into the outer part. The next Tana holds that Beis Hillel gave a different ruling than the one just cited. Rabbi Yossi says in the name of Beis Hillel that a gap of one tefach is required to prevent the Tuma from spreading from the inner part into the outer part.